In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add custom CSS to your WordPress site using the customizer, using Elementor, using Divi Pro, and other website builders will work very similarly, and we're getting started right now. Whenever you're trying to add custom CSS to a website, the place you should first think about is inside of a page builder, because most people use page builders these days, but not everybody has a page builder, and not all the time does the page builder even have that functionality. For example, Elementor Free does not allow you to add CSS. Most other page builders allow you to add CSS on a per page basis, but if even Elementor Pro does that. But if you need to have CSS that is site-wide all the time, the best place to do that is you go to Appearance and then Customize. You will see at the very bottom of this list something called Custom CSS or Additional CSS. In OceanWP's case, it's Custom CSS slash JS. If you click on that, we can add CSS code, if you scroll down, we add JavaScript code. The JavaScript code is not common on themes. This is just built into OceanWP, but the CSS is there in the customizer for every single theme I've checked. I haven't checked every theme that exists, but every time I've checked, there is a custom CSS or additional CSS placement here, and that CSS is applied through the entire site. So if you need something that's there all the time, I'm applied on every page, then this is the way to do it. Let's just close out of here. Page builders often have their own place to put CSS. So if we go to Pages and then Add New, and then click on Edit with Elementor, and then add any widget to the page, you go to the Advanced section for that widget, there is a custom CSS area in Elementor Pro. Elementor Free does not have this. So this is where you do it in Elementor, and the CSS you apply right here, it applies to the whole page. So it doesn't just apply to the heading, it applies to the entire page that you're building, but it only applies to this page. It doesn't apply site-wide, just this page. Just exit out of Elementor. If you're using a different page builder, like for example, the Divi Builder, we click on that. And this is in the old style Divi Builder. And there's an option here. There's a little hamburger icon here on every single Divi Builder page. And that is where you can add custom CSS right inside of here. And that applies again to this page only, not site-wide. If you use the new Divi Builder style, click on this little link to switch to the new Divi Builder. We choose which template we want to use. I'm just going to go to Building from Scratch. Click on Start Building. And now we have a different set of options here. They're similar but different. And if you click on the gear and then go to Advanced, you have a Custom CSS tab where you can add your custom CSS. Again, that only applies to this page. So that's a quick summary of where you'd most commonly add CSS these days. I've linked a tutorial up above where it shows you the more traditional ways of adding CSS to style sheets, to child theme style sheets, to theme settings. Those are more traditional. Those aren't as common at the moment. The ones that I showed you just now, those are the most common ways. And I've only covered two page builders. There's a whole bunch of page builders. But in their documentation, you'll be able to find where in that page builder you can add the custom CSS. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below or in the private Facebook group. There's a link to it in the description down below. And make sure you click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on your screen so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.